so uh, from the east side of Detroit uh, to the west coast of the Bay Area, and I don't think you can find two more spaces which are juxtaposed to, to one another, <laughs> to uh, Bethel AME Church in San Francisco. So when you look at the challenges, and then we're going to kind of shift in a little bit, uh, Pastor Shaw, what are some of the challenges in your context where the church and the public sphere uh, intersect? I would say um, part of the challenges which would be intersecting would be one, one of the obvious would be uh, the challenge of the unhoused and homelessness mm -hmm. and even just being able to afford housing that is situated upon seven hills, probably a 14 mile, and that's being generous within the 14 mile radius uh, of on living upon seven hills where the median cost for housing is uh, on the low end, a million dollars. And so in that particular challenge, uh, along with speaking from the perspective of the Black church, the population of African-Americans uh, within the uh, city of San Francisco is uh, relegated down to about two and a half, three percent. And so out of population, uh, over a million uh, living on that small space of land. Uh, now, you do have others who live what would be considered the East Bay, but where we are located, uh, the oldest Black church in San Francisco developed in 1852, which I am told from some of our church historians was one of the last stops on the Underground Railroad as persons were escaping to Canada. And so meeting those particular needs, helping persons to be able to survive and thrive within a multicultural, diverse community, even though the Silicon Valley is technically to the south of us within San Jose, uh, but I share with my, my members all the time, it spills over into the Bay Area anyhow. So we might as well consider ourselves part of that tech industry too as well. How can the church be relevant as well as meet the needs of the community to be able to find faith and relevance to be a blessing to the community? And we don't necessarily believe that the community has to carry the faith of the church in order to receive the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. But we believe that the church would have enough faith for the community to be able to help the community in these particular times and in these particular needs. I submit that if the church was doing that, if the church was actually in the community showing and sharing the love of Christ, the community would see the church differently instead of having the very negative views. I know within even in our community, because I got the church out, I'm like, we're walking the community. We're going to learn our neighbors. And time and time again, I was like, yeah, I used to go to that church. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just this, I'm like, whoa. And so with that, if again, if we were out there doing the work that God had called us to do, it would have a completely different image and impact on the community and the world at large.